हॅलो नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो सध्या ह्या लॉकडाऊनच्या पार्श्वभूमीवरती वेगवेगळ्या माध्यमातनं आम्ही तुमच्या समोर येण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो आहे आणि त्याचाच एक भाग म्हणून आज आपण या यूट्यूबच्या माध्यमातनं केमिस्ट्री या विषयाच्या टीचिंगला सुरुवात करत आहे यामध्ये आज आपण केमिकल थर्मोडायनामिक्स या टॉपिकला सुरुवात करणार आहोत ज्या टॉपिक्समध्ये बऱ्याच गोष्टी आपल्याला शिकायच्या आहेत त्यामध्ये डेफिनेशन ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स एनर्जी व्हेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ एनर्जी लिमिटेशन्स लॉज ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स एन्थल्पी एन्ट्रॉपी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ऑल नो अबाउट एनर्जी एनर्जी मीन्स अ कपॅसिटी टू पॉर फॉर द वर्क और अ कपॅसिटी टू डू द वर्क इज नोन ॲज अ एनर्जी देर आर व्हेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ एनर्जीज लाइक काइनेटिक एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी बॉन्ड एनर्जी विंड एनर्जी एक्सेट्रा 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 ऑल दीज एनर्जीज कॅन बी इंटर कन्वर्टेबल दॅट इज वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी कॅन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू अनादर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी दॅट इज एनर्जी कॅन नायदर क्रिएटेड नॉर डिस्ट्रॉईड बट वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी कॅन बी ट्रान्सफर इन टू अँड इक्वॅलट अमाऊंट ऑफ अदर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी थर्मोडायनामिक्स इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थर्मल प्लस अ डायनामिक दॅट इज अ फ्लो ऑफ अ हीट थर्मोडायनामिक्स कॅन बी डिफाईन ॲज a branch of a physical science which deals with the study of a quantity relationship between heat and other form of energy that is a thermodynamics is concerned with the energy changes in physical and chemical transformation a study of thermodynamics is based on three fundamental laws these laws have no theoretical proof but it is based on certain observations a thermodynamics has some limitations the first one it is applicable only for a macroscopic properties thermodynamics cannot applicable for a microscopic properties thermodynamics deals with only initial state and final state of a system it does not provide any mechanism or pathway by which a system changes from one state to another state thermodynamic does not give any information any idea about the rate of given process or given change hence the thermodynamics has above certain major limitations then we can explain the important concepts of a thermodynamics like system surrounding and universe but first of all a system means a part of thermodynamics which is under thermodynamic consideration or observation is called as a system for example your classroom is a system and remaining part of the office can be considered as a server a second one a surrounding 
a part of universe other than system is called as a surrounding a combination of a system and surrounding is called as a universe a system and surrounding is separated by a boundary there are different types of systems first one a open a system a system which can exchange energy as well as matter from system to surrounding and vice versa for example any chemical reaction taking place in open vessel so hot tea in a cup here energy as well as matter can exchange from system into a surrounding the second one a closed system a system which can exchange only energy and not a matter from system to surrounding or a vice versa for example a hot tea in a cup covered by a lid here only temperature can decrease but matter cannot exist from system into a surrounding a third one this isolated a system it is the system in which neither energy nor matter can exchange from system to surrounding or vice versa that is a system is thermally isolated from the surrounding hence heat cannot exchange from system to surrounding these are three main types of a system that is open system closed system and isolated system examples are the hot tea in a cup a cup covered by a lid and tea in a thermos or thermo flask then a thermodynamics system has a certain properties there are two kinds of properties extensive property and intensive property the first one extensive property the property of a system whose magnitude depends upon a quantity of a matter a amount of a matter present in a system is called as a extensive property once again the property whose magnitude or value depends upon the amount of a quantity present in a system is called as a extensive property for example a mass as quantity increases mass can also increases volume heat etc etc that is the property whose magnitude goes on increasing with increase in a quantity is known as a extensive property while the property whose magnitude is independent on a quantity of a matter present in a system is known as intensive property for example melting point boiling point specific heat refractive index etc etc the boiling point for one drop of water as well as 1000 ml of water is same that is 100 degrees celsius and is boiling point 
does not depends upon a quantity or amount of a matter present in a system and hence it is an intensive property these are the major properties of a system okay then we will go towards the next one a state of a system any system can be completely explained by a certain states like a pressure volume temperature concentration a number of moles a known state of such variables is called as state of a system once again a known state of a variables like a pressure volume temperature and number of moles are called as a state of a system 